Right, back in the woods. Back in the muddy woods. I decided to walk up the monk steps on the way back, which is you go to uh, Q Stoke and you go to the church, and opposite the church there's a little path and uh, some steep steps attached to a wall that you have to climb up to get over and then cross a road and then you climb the monk steps. Um, quite a steep finish but to be quite honest the bus that I could have got I mean um, I thought no I don't really want to get a bus it's a lot nice afternoon let's finish it off with the walk through the wood so I've got a little bit of a walk now very muddy of course I'm already covered in mud from falling over earlier anyway basically Basically, I'm, um, walking back, it's, uh, about quarter past three, the bus itself would be just about at, um, gone, just about gone through the village of Kewstoke now, making its way towards, along the coastal road, and making its way up towards making its way up towards um, the Burnback Pier end of the the toll road. It used to be a toll road you see in the past. Um, so in theory I've made it here equivalent to the bus making it on the coastal path. It would have been easy just to have loitered along and caught the bus, which I do do now at this day and age, usually now. But this being a very nice day um, is a nice way to end the wood, end the walk, walking gently through the walk, the wood, as the sun starts to go down. Then I'm going to stop at Tesco's and buy a few bits. Got to get some cocoa, some heat pads, just in case I ache after that bounce I had earlier. Um, bits and pieces. I got to get try and get some prawns before they f sell out. to go in the freezer for our starter uh, on Christmas Day. Um, I got to get something for dinner tonight. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces I need to get. Basically, a few bits and pieces. Someone in front, I'll just slow up a bit. So I'm, I'm walking through the wood. I walked through it on the way, on the walk round Sand Bay today. And now I'm ending the walk, walking through the wood. On the 15th of December, 2020. There's uh, two people ahead of me with dogs, walking nice and slow. <sighs> yeah, the sun will be going down now. It's um, over the sea. It'll start dropping. Uh, in a couple of days, well, in about um, five days' time, it will be the winter solstice. And it'll be the little shortest day of the year. So we've got, it's still getting dark earlier at the moment for at least another five days. Then after that, it'll start getting dark, uh, lighter again. So it's a nice way to be up in the wood, actually. I sometimes like to come back through the wood because you get that different light. It's all about light with trees. You get the sunrise and the sunlight. You get moonlight. You get snow light when it's about. So I've had a nice walk. Like I say, I've got to pop into Tesco's on the way back. I've got a list in my pocket. Um, so I've, I, th oh, I haven't put foil on it. I need foil. I've hardly got any foil left. 
I bet I'll forget. I don't think I wrote it on the list. I need foil, wipes, toilet roll can wait. Um, got enough of that for a couple of days. There's other things I've got to get. Um, it's difficult remembering, to be quite honest. I might get Zara's box of um, those chocolates that she likes, that she has. Well, she used to get them in her stocking. Roche things, I don't know what they're called, I can't remember. But uh, I usually get her a packet of those, or a box of those. I don't know if I'm seeing the others, because the thing is we haven't had a lot of contact. So we're more at risk with, from each other. Um, none of us know if we've got COVID or anything. And um, they mix more, so I need, to be, I need to be wary, even if they don't care. I, or they do care, but they don't think. They probably don't worry about it. So I expect their dad <sighs> carries on as normal. Knowing him, he probably won't be bothered. Um, uh, no, I don't know whether to go that way. Yeah, I'll go down here, I think. Yeah, I sometimes come through that way. Or go up round there. The wood looks different at different times of the year. You can get lost in the summer because you can't see anything really. You have to identify certain trees as reference points. And in the winter everything looks tall and bare and you know. But this, I recognise this bit. I recognise this big tall tree and a layout of logs that have always been laid out like that in a square. This is where Brandy and I came across some freshly dug dirt once. It's the, the size of a human being burial, it looked like. It was under, it was on the path. Brandy kept sniffing it. She wouldn't let, leave it alone and it was very evident because it was along here somewhere. See? Something's been scratching there. It was, it was around here. I even took pictures of it. The next thing we knew, this big log had landed on it, but it was right near here. Remember that big tree? I remember it very well. I don't think I kept the images. I might have them stored somewhere now. Um, but yeah, it was here. It looked like a burial. Someone might have buried the dog there, you know. I can still see people moving. I don't know if they're getting closer or moving away. So here we are, this is the woods in the winter. Not quite winter, not for another five days. This is still autumn, believe it or not. Winter starts on the 21st of September, um, December. That's when winter starts. They've stopped. I'm turning off for a minute. <sighs> yeah, I would. if I'd been on the bus now, I'd been at Tesco's now. But I would miss this, this beauty. It's worth it. It was worth doing the walk. It always is. Always is.
weather's supposed to change tomorrow. So though we've had this very calm day, small sprinkling of rain from a nice big cloud, we've had blue sky and peace. Not many people about. And that towards the close of the afternoon we thank the trees for the, their peace and calm and we hope to see them again soon as the sun starts to sink we should be out of the wood in time it's only that you fall over different things come out at night though don't they do you know what I mean the wood's different at night isn't it always different at night. It's the beach, the sun shining, glistening. I think it gets dark by four o'clock and it'll be quarter past four, a quarter to four uh, in a couple of days time, weeks time. Then we'll start getting it light again. I think I'll have to wander down to the the main Tesco's hole in the wall because I don't trust the one by the big Tesco's because I've had a lot of trouble there before. You get people loitering as well. I mean, I used to, I don't have one of those um, special cards that you know contactless ones, I don't have one of those because I did have one but somebody used it, my card and stole from me so I don't um, I asked I didn't tell them I didn't want one so and I don't want one it's too easy to rob somebody people are always coming up close to you people who know what to do 